Your HD TV coming at you live from Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm at my buddy's place still this week. We're going down today to Albuquerque. The homie Phony Wallace gave me a cool idea to check out some of the Breaking Bad spots and a couple of food joints down there. And check that out, see what the vibes are. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. See you in Albuquerque. <laughs> TV with our first Breaking Bad location. This is best quality vacuum. After the show, it was converted and bought into a furniture store, which has now seemed to become a uh, Kratom smoke shop style store. Vacuum cleaner repair company. What'd you expect? What? Haji's quick vanish? I don't even know the guy's name. See the very distinctive grooves here on the side of the building. That's also what's on the front. It's just in a different color now. And this was the place in the show when someone needed to be you know what I'm saying? We're out here at Mr. Car Wash, better known as A18 Car Wash in Breaking Bad. And this is where Walter worked. He worked part time while teaching. Hey, Mr. White. Make those tires shine, huh? Oh my God. <laughs> you would not. And then later on, bought the business to launder money. Who'd have thought that someday I would be handing these keys to you? Pulling on up out here to downtown Albuquerque. We are in downtown Albuquerque here at Civic Plaza. This is where Hank and Gomez arrange for Jesse to wear a wire and meet up with Walter here at Civic Plaza in order to trick Walt into confessing that he was Heisenberg. I'm gonna be at Civic Plaza tomorrow at noon. I hope you'll give me the chance to explain myself. You can't be serious. I'm going listen. He wants to explain himself. We put a wire on you and let him explain. If I go to this plaza, I'm a dead man. A lot of the area is closed down right now for construction. Still a cool overall vibe. What the hell? Now we are at First Plaza Center. In the show, this is where Scholar's Law Office is located. And still today, there's a bunch of law offices apparently located up there in that building. Just down the street here. It's downtown. You go for a little walk, see what's going on. My boy Phony told me to come out here. In Breaking Bad, this is where Jesse sold meth in the early parts of the show. Right in this parking lot, right here. So I talked to one of the workers and they hooked your boy up with a dog. We got ourselves a classic chili cheese dog here to try at the dog house. Comes in a wrap like this. A little something, something. <laughs> These are little baby dogs. So they have foot long size and this is a half. Got your chili, your cheese, sliced up dog, some onions in that john. Uh yeah, it's it's aight. It's a hot dog with some chili and cheese and That's really all there is to it. Pretty skinny dog, a lot of chili. Yeah, it's a pretty good dog. Nothing crazy. Nice little flavor to the uh, to the chili and the cheese on there. The bun was just regular. Shout out the dog house.
Mister, can you help me out? Just pass some change. Hey, we got downtown Java Joe's, the coffee shop, and in Breaking Bad, this is Tuco's headquarters, baby. Lock it down. We're at Rio Grande Vegetables and Fruits. This is where Spooge and his lady steal the ATM. Yo, that's my bank. So it's FIDC insured, yo. It's a victimless crime. Where the hell did you get this? The data, way across town, in outlet. Hey, no, 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 don't, don't, no, no, We are the famous Twisters, also known as Los Polos Hermanos from Breaking Bad. This is the exact location where Walt meets Gus for the first time, right in this building. Let's go check it out. Got a little layout of Breaking Bad. A little dedication booth. Pretty basic uh, fast food restaurant layout. It's got some burgers, wings, chicken, Mexican food. Got the little Breaking Bad mural over there. Meet my friends. Legendary Los Portos Hermano logo, baby. What can I do for you? Have a seat. Please. I wasn't sure what to get at this spot, but it's uh, Twister's Chicken, not Los Polos Romano's Chicken. We'll still give it a try. We got some buffalo bites. Mm. Pretty mid. Yeah, they're literally just Tyson Chicken Bites and Frank's Red Hot. The boys. Better call Dirty Bourbon? Nope. Better call Saul. We out here at his office. It's now the Bourbon House, but this is where his office was at in the TV show. Come on, please. <laughs> Hello. Saul Goodman, <clears throat> please sit. Just found uh, Walter White's house. I drove by, I didn't stop because there was a person sitting outside the entire front of the house. It's like fucking guarded off with fences and traffic cones and all orange shit. I'm gonna do a circle back around so we get a little overview, but there's no shot I'm stopping because this person is just camping out there just looking for kids and starting trouble and throw pizzas on their roof. All right, so it's straight up this way. Like I said, I wanted to stop to check this shit out, but uh, there's just a person camping out on the front lawn. From what I've heard, the person gets real pissed off because people just throw pizzas all over their roof all the time. So it's gonna be this house straight ahead. It's got all private property signs, orange cones. We'll do one more drive by here, see if you guys can catch a glimpse. Out the driver's side window, coming up right here on our left. We out here, the famous Gino's New York style pizza. Talk to me, New York. Let me get a taste. This is the pizza place that Walt used to always go to, grab a pie and throw it on his own roof. about that that's a good appearance right there mm-hmm a little toast and the cheese crust consistency is not bad these are some fat slices dog look at that shit a little flop to it a little pizza to it mm. it's I <laughs> I feel like it's the uh, quote of the day. Eh, it's aight. Honestly, considering we're in fucking New Mexico. It's pretty good, Bob. 
such a fucking big piece of pizza, man. It's gotta be like a 20 inch pie, probably. The fucking slice alone's a foot. Bigger's not always better. Not in the pizza game. Oh, Pizza Gate, how you doing? It's honestly like a, I don't know. I definitely see what they're saying, New York style, but they're definitely missing something. I don't know what it is. Probably the water. I'm not mad though, it's not awful. But it's my favorite part of the pizza. Right where the pie meets the crust. Mm. Not a lot of sauce, a lot of cheese, a lot of bread buildup. The crust saved it, honestly. The crust is fire. I can't judge it based off New York standards. It's definitely not a New York pizza. But on global setting, like, they definitely blow out any Papa John's, any Domino's, anything like that. No competition. On a scale of New York, though, Jeez, maybe like a four or five out of 10. A five out of 10, it's really not bad. Gino's Pizza was my last stop on my list for the Breaking Bad spot. So we're gonna be going off back onto the road starting next week, chilling out here in Santa Fe and Albuquerque for a couple more days. I'm going up to Colorado, over to Utah, and then finally Los Angeles, California. I'm coming for you, baby.